In this screencast, you're going to see how to install and configure the first sample of the two WSRP producers. To get started, let's take a look at the SharePoint website we're going to use as a sample portal. We have prepared two lists, one with documents and one with announcements. We will use these lists as base element and display them through WSRP. So let's get started. You first run the setup, go through the steps, agree with the license. So the first thing is you have to select a website that you need to create before running the setup. So let's go ahead and use this one. The next step is to give the address of your SharePoint server. Here you go, enter the address and click next. So now the WSRP producer is being installed. Now the next thing you want to do is test the WSRP producer for SharePoint. This is actually a web service, so the easiest way to test it is simply to open the web browser and go to the WSDL page, which will show you that the web service is responding to the requests. So now let's move to the second part, which is the configuration of the WSRP consumer. To consume the SharePoint web part using WSRP, we have installed BEA Portal as well as the BEA Workspace Studio. In the Workspace Studio, we are going to create a portlet. Let's call it test sample one. And we say that this portlet is a remote portlet. We need to give the web service description so the WSDL provided by the WSRP producer. And then we can retrieve the information exposed by the WSDL. And it shows that we have 10 available portlets. Displays the list of all the portlets. So let's try the first one, the announcement list. And then we give the producer's handle, which is the configuration that has been prepared on the BEA side. Here it's called SharePoint WSRP producer. And then we create the portlet. So to test the portlet, I can go to the home page of the portal and simply add the portlet to the portal. And then run the portal. And then, as you can see, the web part is displayed within the BA WebLogic portal using WSRP. Well, at this point, you are done with the installation of this first sample, and I invite you to look at the second sample that we are proposing, which has a slightly different architecture and which offers a little bit more features.